Hey guys, if you're like me, you're really busy. So being able to prepare a meal at home that's easy, delicious, and nutritious can be a challenge. Well, I wanna show you one of my favorite things to do that cuts the carbs and also substitutes dairy for a cheesy, delicious side dish. And what I've done here is I've taken some spaghetti squash, and as you can see, I've cut it in half, and I'm just gonna line it with some olive oil, just like this and I have my parchment paper. You wanna make sure that you're using parchment paper because cooking with aluminum foil can be really dangerous and toxic for your health. But I'm just gonna rub in the olive oil into the spaghetti squash here on both of them. And then I'm just gonna to top it with a little bit of sea salt right here. There we go. And I'm just gonna flip them over right here like this onto the parchment paper. Now I've heated up my oven at 400 degrees and I'm gonna cook this for 40 minutes. Voila. And then when I come back, I'm gonna show you a trick for getting that cheesy flavor that's actually really delicious, vegan and vegetarian. Okay, so I took the spaghetti squash out of the oven and it's been cooling for about 10 or 15 minutes. And in the meantime, I sauteed up some tofu with some curry seasoning and I made a salad. So we're just about ready here to get started, but I wanna show you what happened to the spaghetti squash. As you can see, it has a nice golden edge here. And look what happens when I use a fork. It turns into this pasta spaghetti shaped side dish, as you can see right here. But the thing is we may want to stay away from dairy. And if you wanna stay away from dairy, here is the magic ingredient. It's called nutritional yeast. And it's pretty well known by vegans and vegetarians because it's a great source of B vitamins and folic acid. The thing about nutritional yeast is that it has a cheesy and nutty flavor. And what it is, it comes from the mushroom family. It's grown, dried, and flaked. So it's vegetarian, it's vegan, and it's very nutritious. So it's a great substitute for cheeses, whether you want to use it in soups or on top of eggs or tofu or in your spaghetti squash. So we're going to just go ahead and sprinkle this in. We'll just stir it up here and voila! I have a great delicious healthy meal that was easy to prepare. It's loaded with nutrition, low in carbs, no dairy, and there you go. Another idea for you to eat healthy and enjoy your food too. Bon appetit. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs>